This is Plashet School for Girls in the East End of London. It's a popular local school which achieves above average results for its 1,300 pupils. The school caters for students of all abilities and talents. Among them is Amina. She is a 14-year-old girl in year 10 with Down syndrome. It's one of the more common learning disabilities or differences. Speech and language would be quite a key issue. It can be um, lose some muscle tone, smaller mouths, and have trouble with articulating language, and of course with understanding to a certain degree as well. Inclusion in mainstream education can be beneficial for pupils with Down syndrome. So where possible, Amina is included in regular lessons. <laughs> this is a practical science class. It's a mixed ability group, which is going to investigate solvents and solutions. The task is to carefully dissolve measured quantities of household powders, like salt, sugar and coffee, in a range of different solvents. Now, how long are you going to shake it? Yeah, jump first. Uh, yeah. How, many, how many seconds do you want to do? 10 seconds, 15 seconds, how many? 15. 15. Water first, Amina. Wash your body. She always takes part in the lessons, and uh, you know the whole class has a variety of different needs within the group. You know, I mean, I've got other students where they've only just started learning English, and others which have got much more complex special needs. You know, that uh, just work within the boundaries of what you have. Okay, have a look, Lucy. How much? Mm. Okay. Amina and another special needs pupil in the class are helped by two support assistants. Lassie, Jake, no, I'll go down. Oh, okay. no, you're going to time. Go on then, take your time. Go. Go, Jake. Yeah, yeah. Watch when it's 15. Yeah. She, she loves the science lesson and experiments is a part of her life, all this practical stuff. Where's the salt? Where's it gone, I mean? She was taking a lot of stuff in. You ask a question and she knows exactly. She'll give you the right answer. Oh, stop. Okay. What's that? Where's the salt? It's all. It's all. I'll go by. Okay, I mean, I'm going to take the salt. At the beginning of the year, when we started the lessons, she found it very difficult to get involved. And, and certainly, she's doing a lot more confident now in her practical work than she's, she has been previously. You know, so she certainly contributes more. I mean, you know, occasionally now, Without prompting, she will actually put her hand up. Amina, tell me another solid that dissolves in water, please. Another one. We've had sugar, give me another one. Which one? It's coffee. Very good. Coffee. coffee! Right, okay. When she first started in year seven, she was mostly based in our SEN department. She could read a little bit, yeah. she could read a yeah. few words, but she couldn't write at all no, she, in Year 7. No, she could write a name, but not a surname. So she actually got to use, got the right space. She knew the letters of the surname, but she couldn't put them in the right order, <laughs> which she can do now. V, E, R, Y. She's very independent now. The general principle that students do stay in lessons but that, you know if there are times when they need something specifically for them um, when then that's important. One of Amina's specific sessions is one-to-one -one maths with Ravinda, her support assistant. Choose your game. She's working on a computer program which helps her to recognize numbers and their relationships from one to ten. Four, five, six, seven. Seven, well done. Yeah, go on, have a go. Like this. Yeah. Two you need. Come down. Oops. Oops. Try again. A bit tricky, isn't it? I mean. That's it, go on. She's very good at numbers. She can count the numbers up to 100, but then recognising them, she has to do like sets of 10s or 20s. She's working on 10s. Right. Which number are you looking for, Amina? Think, Amina. No. You've got seven already, Amina. Which number? Three. Three. So that adds up to? Ten. Ten. Good girl. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Then they move on to doing subtraction, using plastic cubes to make the link to written sums. One, two, three, four. Take four away. One, two, three, four. Okay, well two. Two. Right. Well done. Go on. Next one. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. How many you got left when you take four away? How many you got left? One, two, three, four. Very good. Four. Right, right, done four. She works well with visual Word pictures two, three. or objects or whatever's there, so it helps her counting and remembering. Word two. Three, four, five, six. Amina does come under something called exceptional resource provision, so she, we do have the funding for an extra member of staff with her, not always necessarily the same person. So we are able to do that, so that, that is a big help. Amina also needs help with her reading. What's he doing now? Uh, this one, I got magic earrings. Magic earrings? Yeah. Look at this. What happens next? And it will happen that was this one. Mm -hmm. We help them by giving them lots of things to see, to feel, so they know what's going, ha what's going to happen. Pictures, lots of pictures. Okay, eat. Go on. You this is a play. Play or the seesaw. I. Make a job in shape. And I will have to play. Eat the two play. Eat word to the back. She's got a statement. She has an annual review in which we want to, to pull together all, all the aspects of Amina's life from medical, speech and language. We, we would find out in every subject. Uh, to make sure that she's going along, you know, making the progress that we'd like her to make. Good afternoon, Luxay. This is a sign-along session for a group of special needs pupils. It's a system of sign-supported English that helps to widen pupils' vocabulary. In the summer, yeah, we've got the summer. What's the weather like in the summer? Oh! Very hot, They're discussing yeah. holidays. Very hot. Oh, yeah, they're making sandcastles. What else? How, right, how are people dressed on the beach? Have they got their coats on? What are, what are they wearing? Sunglasses. Sunglasses to go swimming. Why are they wearing hats? Because you go red in the head. We use sign along with some children who have communication access problems. Um, I find it very useful to consolidate words with them. I've found I've used it for years now and sometimes the children will remember the words because they've physically done it with their hand. What's yes, this? What's this? Slide it. When you go it up is here. a slide. It Bloody goes round and round. Oh, I love that. Horses. You can go riding on the horses, can't you? But no, this I'm is called, like got a special nice. name. Yeah. Good girl. You go, you go round and round on the carousel. Yes, I like it. Can you come carousel. down? We work with a small group here to try and expand their vocabulary, their ideas, their sequencing and to make them feel comfortable in the group to explore those ideas. Our school does get very good GCSE results, but we're also proud of the fact that um, almost every student would walk out of here with, with particular paper qualifications, and Amina will. Right, we're gonna first of all I'm gonna give you out your pieces of paper. You need to cut out the one that says start, This is a life skills class to prepare year ten for their work experience placements. The students are working on matching answers to questions about some issues that might arise in the workplace. 
Amina does a similar task involving simpler picture cues about the working day. Is there anywhere that says changing the time that you are going for lunch? Excellent, Zara. So that goes. So let's put the next part next to it because you need to work out what goes with the telephone call. So what do we use to make a telephone call with? Excellent. So where's the picture of the telephone? Telephone. What is Where it? is the picture uh, of the telephone? Well, I did. Excellent. <laughs> well done. Okay. Polite. So this one then gets stuck in here to make a telephone call. We use a telephone. Excellent. Right. In life skills, we're ultimately preparing her for um, her life when she leaves school, which will be about a year's time that she'll be leaving and she'll be going to college and she'll be becoming more independent at home and in the community and in work. If I say to you, go and type up a letter, where do you go? That's a photocopier. That's like the machine over there. Oh, okay. If we're typing stuff up, we use a com... Com... Excellent. Where's the picture of the computer? Picture of the computer. Excellent. Good girl. I'll cut it out. It does work. It's it's nice. It's it shows a whole range of ability, which is what society is all about, and everything else around. They're going to experience people at different levels, and so I think it's, it works perfectly well. I think Amina's very happy. I think everybody else is very happy. So what do you use to get you up for work the next morning? What do you use to get you up for work the next morning, Amina? Um, Look at your book. Tell us in your book. Yeah. What do you use? Um, hot dampers. And you've got sleep. Yeah. Up to day. Yeah. Your clock. Up. Where's the telephone? The telephone is there. Her communication skills have um, increased um, her confidence. Um, talking about what she's doing in work and how she um, relates to other people has, has definitely improved. What is the picture? The picture. After the computer, what do we do? I did the picture. The picture is big. Yes, it does take a little bit of extra um, time and resources to, to plan things for her, but the benefits far outweigh any of that and um, makes for a whole rounded society. Increasingly with our outcomes of every child matters, you know, there are things that you can't always measure in numbers that are really important. How much she enjoys being at school, how much she, she contributes to the community, how much she's ready really for life.